the Rainbow Six Siege community can finally rest easy because we have won what is arguably one of the biggest battles or biggest challenges in this community's history. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, here's a quick rundown of the situation. On November 2nd, the Ubisoft team that develops Rainbow Six announced that they were going to be making a lot of aesthetic changes to the game in order to comply with Chinese censorship laws because they were going to be releasing the game in China. A lot of these things involved some blood splatter on the walls that were already there to begin with, nudity, sexual references and such, and gambling. And this was going to be changing a lot of the things of the game. While nothing game changing, it was changing the way a lot of things looked. And through the power of a lot of shit posting, a lot of memes, and some general criticism, it seems like the, the team has finally come to their senses and are going to be reverting these changes. They put out a statement earlier today announcing this. I'm going to be reading this strictly from the Reddit, and it goes as follows. Update on aesthetic changes coming with Year 3, Season 4. We have come to the decision that we will be reverting all aesthetic changes originally announced on November 2nd. We have heard the concerns raised after this announcement and have since been working on solutions. So it's good to hear that the team at, that developed Rainbow Six is listening to the community. A lot of us thought that they were just going to stay silent like they did with Alpha Packs and whatnot, and finally we have some our concerns being heard, and we are finally being listened to. Later on in that post, they do link a forum to their rainbow6.ubisoft.com page. I will link that also down in the description if you want to read it, but we're going to go over it quickly uh, and what it entails in here. So first it says... Update on aesthetic changes coming with Year 3 Season 4. Basically the same thing as the Reddit post. It kind of just dives into, you know, they announced this on November 2nd. They're going to be reverting it. And it's got a few different subsections of questions. And the first one being, when are these changes being reverted to the international version? And their response goes as follows. We will begin reverting these changes alongside the launch of Wind Bastion. So no player is impacted. We ask you to be patient in, as some elements remain. We will carefully remove them to the best of our ability, considering the short time frame and with the lowest impact on the season's launch date and our build stability. So while some of these changes were already going to be implemented, now they need to go back and rework it and redo these things, but they're still going to be reverting them. It will be going back to the way it was before the season was going to end up launching, so we have nothing to worry about there. Some things may be different for a little bit, but because they want to uh, release Season 4 on time and everything, they're going to be removing these slowly and as effectively as possible. Next question is, is there any impact on the next season? They respond by saying, our intentions are to keep any impact to a minimum. Though such changes may lead to a season delay and or some instability, as our testing and debug times are now shortened. We will monitor on and test daily to keep you updated on any new development on the matter via our Rainbow Six Twitter, and then that links you to their Twitter page, where you can follow them and get some more recent news on the Rainbow Six game, if you don't subscribe to the Reddit or anything else. Why are you changing the strategy now? The short answer is most likely that us players who have been here since the beginning posed a lot of outrage to this decision as why should we have to comply with these Chinese censorship laws? We've been playing an M-rated game in which you shoot people. Why do strip clubs and the, the things inside of a strip club and uh, gambling machines, why do all these things need to be changed just to comply with a regulation? We understand that, yeah, China is a very big market for video games, and Ubisoft and the Rainbow Team definitely want to capitalize on that, but changing the version for absolutely everybody was definitely not the right move. No one was really happy about that. Uh, but they go into a little bit more detail explaining, saying that uh, we've been following the conversation with the community over the past couple of weeks, alongside regular discussions with our internal Ubisoft team. And we want to ensure that the experience for all of our players, especially those that have been with us since the beginning, remain as true to the original artistic intent as possible. So again, we've been playing this game since launch, I've had the game since launch, I played the beta, and it just was going to suck to see a lot of the things that I've come to know and love about the game be changed. Again, they're not game changing, they're just aesthetic things, but it's definitely the little things that matter to me. Changing those things was just going to put me off a little bit, and I'm really glad to hear that the community has listened. And the last question on this forum is, what can I expect as a current player based in Asia? They respond by saying... Current players in Asian territories can continue enjoying the same game as other players. We will be sure to keep you informed as updates progress. In the meantime, we are excited to unveil Operation Win Bastion on the test servers today. I cannot wait introduced players to Cade, Nomad, the new Fortress map, and more to come in Year 3, Season 4. 
once again, this is such a big battle that we were fighting through the powers of memes and shitposting and everything else that was going along. We have finally prevailed. The Rainbow team is obviously listening to the community, and there was a lot of backlash that was coming with this announcement. I'm super excited to hear that we have prevailed through this, and we're not going to have to deal with the censorship policies. We can continue playing the game as intended, and that's what a lot of us just wanted to see. That's going to about do it for this video. I'm really excited to see these changes going to be reverted back to what they originally were. Let me know what you guys think in the comment down below. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates.